floss tube this is daphne um let's scoot this back a little bit there we go um back with another update um it's been two weeks i was supposed to record yesterday but i ended up with a migraine um and i had to take my son in for a doctor's appointment um to look at his ear since i've talked to you he had an eardrum rupture um i didn't even know his ear hurt i knew he was had a cold he kept on telling me that he had a sore throat, and so I was treating him for a sore throat. Um, he said it wasn't that bad, and then he tells me in the night, he says, Mom, my ear really hurts. And I said, okay, then we're going to go to the doctor's because I don't do ears hurting. That night, his eardrum ruptured. So I had to take him to, so that's why, short story long, that's why I didn't record yesterday between a migraine and taking my son back into the doctor's to make sure his eardrum was healing. I just couldn't get around to it. So we're going to do it today. Um, I do apologize that it's a day late, but life happens. Um, so why don't we go ahead and get started with what everybody's excited for and do the giveaway. So we've got this lovely bag with the pattern and the, the washcloth already in it. Um, I did random number generate before I recorded because I record on my phone. So I'm sorry. I don't know how to record on my phone and record all that and splice it in. Does the college courses teach you how to do YouTube? <laughs> I'll, maybe I'll figure it out eventually. But it did land on number 12, which is Becky G. So Becky G, you won. Um, I will put my Instagram handle and my email address down below. Please try to get a hold of me both ways. Sometimes my email kicks things into the trash. Or at least let me know that you emailed me so I can look for it. Um, so congratulations, you win, and I will get this out to you as soon as I get your email address. So thanks everybody for a hundred subscribers. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Um, so let's move on to the stitchy goodness. We're going to start with an FFO. I have an FFO. Now it is not the prettiest. My stitching, well, I should say beading is not the best because holy Batman beading took me for a loop. So there are mistakes in it. Don't look too closely because he still looks freaking awesome. And I'm absolutely in love with him. But it is the first time I've finished anything like this. Um, but he's amazing. I love him. I do. I love him. He's awesome. So I've got him completely done. I did make a few mistakes. Like see my, my super glue seep through my felt. But I don't care. He's amazing. And I love him. He is my ornament for this year. Um, every year my family gets ornaments for Christmas. That way when you turn 18, you have 18 um, ornaments for your tree when you leave the house. Um, it's something my mom did um, and I did get all mine. Um, and now it's something I'm doing with the kids. And I still want an ornament every year because who cares if the tree's overran with ornaments. And I'm pretty excited to start making homemade ones for the tree. Um, so... This is my ornament. I'm in love with him. He's not perfect, but I love him. He's awesome. I don't think I would do another Mill Hill. I really don't think I enjoyed it. Um, but if he was stinking cute like this moose, I would consider it. Um, but definitely not something that I super enjoyed. Um, I'd have to enjoy what the finished product looked like more than the aggravation of stitching him. So there he is. I'm super excited. Um, now we'll move on to magical stitches in literature because it runs my stitching life. You guys ready? Okay. So for week one in February, I don't know if I already went over week one. Oh, well, we'll just go. We had to do 300. No, I don't think I did. I don't think I did. Uh, we had to do 300 stitches on a whip in prison. So I did do my Santa's village, Santa's house, Santa's house because it was in prison because my colors weren't matching up and I wasn't sure what, if it was dirty or if my whites were off. I do think it is dirty because I was putting in this blue here and it is a lot brighter than the blue over here. So I think it's just dirty, but I do have a problem. My tea coffee dyed this and I'm going to need to wash it. I don't know if I can get a color catcher and if it goes back white, I'm all right with that. Um, it'll be an experimental piece. We'll see what happens. Um, but I did come in and I put in the rest of this snow and I started this deer head right here. Um, so that's what I did for that. So I got us out of prison. I got me out of prison, I should say. Um, and then week two, we have to make polyjuice potion. 
So we are having to collect all of the ingredients to make the poly juice potion. So the first one was lace swing flies, which is something that flies. Um, I did use my Simply Meant to Be on this. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and go through everything because I used it on quite a bit. Um, so I did this for lace wing flies. I did this for leeches um, because when Jack is battling Oogie Boogie per se, um, Oogie Boogie does this funny noise and my kids think it's hilarious because I like doing it. It's funny, but I'm not going to do it on YouTube. Um, he kind of lifts his arms up and growls and sucks everything up and he's trying to suck everybody up. Um, so he sucks, right? <laughs> it works. So I did that for this one. I also did it for Flux Week, something, um, a night, a night scene. And this is definitely a night scene. And then I did use it in week three for a project with a ghost because zero is a ghost. So I, I was able to get all this in, these in, and then I used it for um, the basilisk attack. Um, so I did put in this box, this box with that little rogue stitch right there and these two boxes here. So I was able to get 401 stitches in, um, which I thought was pretty good. And so I started reading everybody else's and there were some people that were getting 500 plus stitches a day. Um, you guys are awesome rock stars. This is all I could manage. Hopefully next time I'll be able to just sit down and stitch all day. Uh, but you know, probably not with four kids, but I will try. I tried, I did my best. I got 401 stitches in for the basilisk attack. So that is simply meant to be. Um, so we're going to go back to the poly juice potion. Um, the next one was, did you hear that? I don't know what it was. Anyways, was powdered bicorn horn, which was an out of print chart or something hard to get a hold of. So I did lady the black. Um, let me double check and make sure, see if I did her. I did do her for week three for something you've modified because I've changed her to blue. Well, I didn't change her to blue. I used somebody else's conversion with their permission. Um, but I've got quite a bit done. I stayed right in this flag. I got, um, a hundred stitches for the poly juice potion and then a 200 stitches for when we were drinking the poly juice potion. Um, so I think it's starting. I mean, it's not just a bunch of blobs of color. You can kind of see where the folds of fabric are now. I think it's amazing. I'm having a blast with this project. Um, I really like that this group is kind of forcing me to look at things that I haven't looked at in a long time. Although I still have not brought out my nativity because I just burnt out. Um... So there's that one. Then we moved in to not grass and I didn't have anything with grass. So I do believe I did 200 stitches on this. Um, I just went ahead and took the penalty and did 200 stitches. Um, the next one was the flux weed, which was the nighttime, which was a simply meant to be. The next one was something with skin, which was the lady of the flag. Again, I did do lady of flag there too. And then Something of a bit of someone you want, to, or somebody was, so it was a bit of somebody you wanted to change into, so we had to do something we weren't able to do. So I did this one because I was enabled by Juliet, Kansas City Girl in a Colorado World, and I got a finish. Dun, dun, dun. Um, so that was it for week two. Now week, th week three, we were drinking the poly juice potion, so we had to do a project that was modified, which I showed you was Lady of the Flag, a project with a cat. Can you believe that I left the hair on? Um, now this is for one of the yearly challenges. Um, one of them is that um, Hogwarts has seven stories. It's, it's seven levels. And so this has levels of people and stuff. And so I'm using it for that one. And that's what this is for. I do think I'm going to have to do some backstitching around this to make it pop off because of the fabric I used. See, it just kind of blends. But I'm gonna put the whole thing in first because there is this red and this yellow down in the bottom and, and everything to see what it looks like completed. Um, and then I use this for the extra credit, um, watching Chamber of Secrets and stitching. And so I, I did his face for the poly juice potion, but then I did the rest of his body for the movie and I started Harry for the movie. So 
it's coming along. I quite enjoy this project. Um, so there he is. And then we did that. We already talked about the basilisk attack. So I think that is everything for magical stitches. I think, um, I do know I got more progress on my, my Maleficent piece. Yep. There we go. Brain needs to start working. Um, and I used her for something and I don't have it written down. So it was probably in January. Um, or it might've been one of the little side ones that I just hadn't, didn't have my notebook yet. So she is looking so cool. I absolutely love her. That gray is getting tedious, but I'll get it done. I will so get it done. Um, I am using her for one of the extra credits this month that stitch on something with words. So I have to put another 500 stitches in this before the end of the month. So that should, I'm hoping that'll get me, I'm hoping I'll be able to finish the rest of the dragon because the rest of the dragon, you can see where it, it's in the, the words and see it's coming down, it ends down in here. Um, so I'm hoping I can get the rest of the dragon done and then just do the words. Um, but I always seem to underestimate how many stitches are in an area. So, oh, cat, sorry. So we'll see how that goes. But hopefully I'll have quite a bit of her done and I can say she is a finish here soon. Um, the other thing I did work on was, um, my stocking. Yeah. You think I like the nightmare before Christmas? A little bit. I have two Nightmare Before Christmas bags. Um, I'm, I might be a little bit obsessed. Maybe just a little bit. Anyways, Beauty and the Beast, Nightmare Before Christmas, they all have my heart. So I w was able to put more of this guy in. Um, I did put some more of the snow in up here and over here. So he's coming right along. And I am using him for one of the yearly ones. Oh, yeah, the Seven Weasleys. Um, because they're children. They need stockings, right? So stocking, right? Right. Reasonably children. So I am using that for that. Um, so this is not showing up on anything right now. Cause I think I have like 300 stitches in it right now and I need a thousand. So slowly, but surely this will be out today. This is what I'm working on today because it is, um, stocking Sunday, but I do do it on a Saturday and a Sunday because I have so many to do. So there's that one. Um, I don't think I have worked on anything else. Let me look in my whips here. No, I didn't work on Glitter House and I haven't started Skeleton Crew, though it will get started here pretty soon because I have to have those 200 stitches done by the end of the month and we're, you know, T minus two weeks. So, um, I did not have any stitchy haul. I did have book haul. So I went ahead and got, um, I'm a crazy person and serial killers kind of. No, I don't like glorifying them or anything, but their brain, it really intrigues me. When I was in college, I wanted to be a psychiatrist. Um, and you know, children in life changed that, uh, road, but I wanted to be a psychiatrist because people's minds really fascinate me. And I'm, I'm not the only person I don't think. So Hannibal, I mean, I know he's not real, but he is pretty awesome. I mean, how do you pass up the, the silence of the lambs movie? You don't. Um, but I've never read the books and it's a four series books. I have seen all the movies. I have seen them all. Um, so I bought Red Dragon, which my husband has already read. He read this in two days. He told me it was fantastic. So it is on the list for next month. I'm hoping I can fit it into some challenges. If not, it'll go, it does fit into my year long reading challenge. So Red Dragon and then Silence of the Lambs. If I'll hold it right. Silence of the Lambs. Um, once I finish these two, I'll get the other ones. Um, Amazon, they're not that expensive. But what really absolutely agitates me, and this gets me almost like every so often when I buy books online, when they're a series, I expect them to sit properly. Do we, what is this? <sighs> We're gonna have to have a conversation with the publishing company. That does not look good on my shelves. Now, I don't mind if other series, like if you've got one series and it's all one height and the next one's all a different height, but don't do that. What the heck? That's, that's rude. That's what that is. That is rude. Um, it makes my brain flip out. Absolutely freak out. 
I'm not happy about that. But that's what I get for buying books online. But the closest bookstore to me is four hours. So online is what I have. So I bought those. I did finish um, Under the Jolly Roger, the third Bloody Jack book. Um, it's really good. I really enjoyed it. I want to strangle the main character sometimes. But I do have to remember she's a 15-year-old girl. Um... There are 12 books in this series and I can kind of already see a pattern that it is she gets herself into trouble and then gets herself out of trouble. Um, makes, oh, while she's making boys fall in love with her, just so you know, because she's got more than one person who is in like with her. Um, while pining after the guy she's really likes, um, but then she gets herself out of trouble. I mean... So, I mean, it's definitely got a theme. I'm hoping that there is, um, in the other books that there is more to them, but as of right now it is gets in trouble, finds a way out of trouble, breaks hearts along the way. Um, they're still really funny. I, I bust up laughing in the middle of them and they're really fun, but 12 books I might get a little burnt out on. So might have to take those a little slower now. Um, and then I did finish the enchantment of Ravens. Um, I liked the book. I read it quite fast. Um, it's an easy read. I liked that it was a one book. No, no more books. It's just the one. Um, I would give it a three out of five stars. It was a fun read. It was an easy read. How do I explain this? Um, it wasn't original. Like it had original ideas, but the storyline was kind of like, yeah, saw that coming. Um, maybe I'm just finicky. I don't know. But it was a good read. If you're, if you like fairies, um, or fae, I guess, fae, um, other worlds, uh, love story all wrapped into one, this is a good book. It's a good, easy read. It's a light read. It just wasn't earth shattering, I guess. Um, but it was a good read. Um, I think I would read it again just as an easy read. Um, so, I mean, it's a, it's a good book. So if you're interested in it, pick it up. It's a good one. Um. I'm always interested in a story about an artist. Um, so I think I've got some knitting. I do have my knitting sitting right here. Um, it's not very exciting because School of Magical Stitches and Literature, I've got to get all this stuff done. And um, I do homeschool for those of you who don't know. And so our school semester starts, goes from February to November. Um, that way we have just the entire month of December off and January to regroup. Um, not to mention my husband's a firefighter, so he works for the summer. So we normally vacation in November and December. So it just works for our schedule. So I did um, finish another washcloth. Um, I started another one. And thankfully, this is the last ball of this color that I have because I am getting bored of it. Bored, 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 bored. I need some color in my life. I need some hot pink. I need some lime green. I need some colors. I love this, this, it's, it's a fabulous color, but, oh, it gets boring. It really does. Um, so that is it for me. I was able to keep this at 20 minutes. And so by the time I'm done, we may be at 25, but then cut it out. So we'll be at about 20 minutes. So I will come back in two weeks, hopefully. Um, please again, let me, I, I forgot Becky G Make sure you email me so I can get this lovely bag out to you. And we'll see everybody in a couple weeks with, uh, realistically, a School of Magical Stitches and Literature update. Um, and hopefully I'll have more done and there will be lots of progress to see. Oh, real fast. I forgot. I made a boo-boo. I got a clean up house. <laughs> Last thing I said that the channel name, that Sean's channel name was Electric Reads. No, 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 no. It is eclectic reads. I blame the drugs. I couldn't read, apparently. So that is his channel name. He's put up now number two, which is a whip parade or like a pattern parade, like a stash. There we go, a stash parade. Um, he's got some beautiful haze. I got a little girl coming in, so we're going to cut this off. Um, what, honey? Okay, go in the den. I'm almost done, okay? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Go in the den. Go down on your bed. On my bed. Okay. Go on. Okay. Go on.
<laughs> I have watched a couple new floss tubers and I forgot to write them down. I did. I forgot to write them down. So I will write down, write them down and we'll have some shout outs next week. Happy stitching everybody. Bye.